Hey, welcome back. I am excited about today's episode. I dive into two things that, well, I'm going to say like every coaching call, we talk about some variation of these two things, procrastination and numbing out. And I can't wait to share with you what you can do and what that it's what's actually stopping you from getting you what you want. Those procrastination and numbing out, which I don't have to tell you, you already know that. But what is but what is the purpose? What is it doing? And what does it really mean when we numb out and procrastinate? And then an action step. What can we do to start getting out of that and not letting that be what keeps us back? Here we go. Hi friend, I am so excited that you're here to check out Her Restored Spirit podcast. If you've gone through something that has left you broken spirited, maybe it's a divorce, loss of a spouse, or even a child, loss of a job, whatever it is, I know there is restoration in your future. I'm a widowed mom, and I remember what it feels like to emerge from the fog to discover that my loss is not the center of my story, but it actually instilled in me a new hope, a new understanding of faith, and a new strengthening in my heart, soul, and motherhood. I have finally understood that God has taken my test and formed it into my testimony, and that's why I'm here with you. I want you to step into your purpose, into a newfound joy, and to turn a new page in your book, because I believe you are on the brink of full restoration, unlocking a confidence that you didn't know was inside you, and understanding how to live more fruitfully with purpose, joy, and permission to be washed in possibility. It's time, friend, to reclaim your restored spirit. Hey, welcome back to Her Restored Spirit Podcast. My name is Tammy and I'm your host. And I am so excited to talk about today. And I'm also not excited because when I talk about procrastination and numbing out, like it hits me hard in the soul because those are tendencies that I do. Uh, I've joked about how education is my favorite form of procrastination. I'm actually a master level procrastinator. And Realizing that we have so many things that we can numb out um, for other for people, it could be completely different what it is that they're numbing out with. The idea, though, is both of those are causing the same stress. They're causing the same problems for us. They're also stopping us from getting what we want, what we're capable of, what we need, how we need to show up. They are really like, I mean, how many times have you like, do you know that you procrastinate or you should be doing something and you numb out on something else? And that's what I want to talk about today. Like it is the end of January. We're one twelfth done with, with the 2023. Like, let me just, let's just sit with that for a moment. Are you that much ahead of, have you dove into your your goals, your resolutions, your intentions? Have you have you achieved what you wanted to from January when you set those goals from 2023? Are you one twelfth closer to getting the life that you want that by the end of 2023? And I had to hit a, like a hard reality. Um, this month has been crazy for me. Like I've had multiple trips. Like it is three trips in January. Like that's a lot. And, you know, one is for my, one of my best friends in the world, their promotion ceremony, which is a, a great reason to go and celebrate with them. Um, it's also the, I went for a conference and again, really good reason. Also very productive but it allows me to procrastinate and it causes me to numb out sometimes because the stress, the overwhelm, the things, all the things that I need to do. I'm also leaving tomorrow morning for a week and we're not packed. Like this time I'm taking the kids with me and I'm not packed. I'm not ready to leave for the week. The house is not ready. You know, you know what the house looks like when it's ready to be, when you're ready to be gone for a week, the fridge is empty, trash is out, dishes are all done. The, the, you have stuff for when you get back because we get back and, you know, like there's planning, there's planning that happens. And also coming home to a clean house is a gift to yourself. And though this, 
I haven't procrastinated this because I just got back from a trip, the promotion yesterday. So I have today, today to get all of this done and switch over. I've also known about both of these trips for months. So I'm also, I'm going to Hawaii tomorrow, by the way, I am leaving. We are getting snow right now. So if you hear the thunder and things like this is, it is, we're getting ready to have a winter storm and I'm going to Hawaii for a week because, because I can, because I worked and saved and I made it a priority. More to that later, but know that procrastination and numbing out is stopping you from getting what you want. So why do we numb out? Why do we procrastinate? Why do we stay stuck? Why do we allow the overwhelm and anxiety to happen? It's what your brain is supposed to do. And I pause there because we need to sit and we need to realize, okay, the procrastination is serving us. And you're like, Tammy, it makes me miserable. I'm, I get down on myself. I'm stressed. I feel guilty. I feel ashamed. I should do all of these things. And I even want to do all those things. And yet we can't because we procrastinate or we numb out. And I'm going to separate those for a moment. The procrastination, um, when you don't do what you're going to, what you say you're going to do, it tells it's your brain's way of saying that I don't feel that it's worthy of doing it. It is your brain saying, is it for me? Can I, am I capable? When we know we are, we know the things, why do we procrastinate the things that we want the most? And it's because, because our brains don't know what's going to happen next. When we get what we want, then our brains don't know what's, coming next. When we get what we want, our brains don't know what's coming next. When we are stuck, when we procrastinate, when we have this desire, this dream of doing something, but we don't do it, our brains get that. So why do we procrastinate? Because our brains like it. As much as we don't, and I talk, like, it's almost like you need to have a conversation, have a come to Jesus meeting with your brain and let it know who's boss. That, you know, like, I, I can make my decisions. I can create my thoughts. I know that doing this one thing, I know that being more visible on social media will get me what I want. It will grow my, help me to grow my business. It also, the part of it is I want you guys to know me and understand why this is such a passion for me. It's also a very scary thing to put myself out there as the real me, not the polished Enneagram one self that I would like to believe is true. Um, the polished and organized, and I am organized in a way, but also if you saw my office, you'd be like, Tammy, this is, you're not organized. I know where everything is. I know what every pile has. I know if I'm looking for something, which pile to go to, but it's chaos. And it allows me to procrastinate. It allows me, the chaos allows me to numb out, which means I don't get what I want, what I don't get, what I, I don't do what I wanted to do. So how do you, overcome that well I will sorry about that a huge like wave of the storm came so it got really loud so I just put it on pause for a minute let me get my train of thought back but I was talking about procrastinating um, and let's switch gears to numbing out a little bit and then we'll talk about what to do and how you can start to change those patterns because it's similar for both of them um, but numbing out, how many times do you sit and you scroll? You just scroll. You don't. And even while you're doing it, you're like, why am I on this? Or you do it and you're like, oh, five minutes. I just want to just want to look. For mine, it's like solitaire. I will numb out watching solitaire, um, playing solitaire. Or there's even reading can be a way to numb out. You need to ask yourself, 
you get to ask yourself, you get to get curious about why are you doing the actions that you're doing? Now, reading is a great skill. It's a great pastime and it's something you should do if you want to. It's a, a, something that I try to do every day, read two to three chapters, um, just because I, I love learning. I love learning. And it also gives me that I'm still growing. I'm still, but I don't have to sign up for another class. You know, procrastination, education, that's what I, I do. But the numbing out is, do you numb it out with food? Do you numb out by meeting with your girlfriends instead of staying home and writing that thing that you need to write or creating that thing you need to create, whatever it could be, or following what whatever prompts God has placed on your heart. Numbing out. I mean, my son is an expert at it. It's video games. He doesn't have to worry about the world and all of his schoolwork when he's playing video games. He gets to just go into his own little world where he's got the control. How do you numb out? When we numb out, we are telling ourselves that we're not worthy, that you're not worthy to get what you want. The thing that God placed on your heart, it's you don't feel capable. You don't feel like it is something that you're, that, that you can do. And so we need to look at that. Look at what we're doing. Look at what you're doing, how you're spending your time. Write it down. Write down, you know, don't, just for a little while, write down, okay, when you feel like you're procrastinating, why? What is it? Is it because you're too busy? Busy is a way of numbing out. It's also a way of procrastinating. It's also a way of making us feel like we are actually accomplishing something when we know we're actually avoiding the one thing we need, which typically when you sit down and just do it, it doesn't take that long. And, but when we're numbing out and depending on your Enneagram number, you may be more apt to do this or you may apt to be too busy. Like there's the spectrums, but they're the same thing. They're the same brain breaks. They're the same thing. They're getting you that I don't feel worthy or I don't feel ready. I don't feel that I know enough. I don't feel like that. Who am I to do something like that? Are those some of the questions that you ask when, yourself when you are? And so then instead you just grab your phone and you just scroll, comment, maybe even like create a post. I challenge you to look at your day and how many times, what, what are your numbing out activities? What is it? Is it sleep? Is it, wouldn't that be a great one? Um, <laughs> That would, it would be great if I could go take a nap in the middle of the day and just numb out for a few minutes. Um, actually, that's resting, but it's all in how you frame it and what the purpose of it is. Because I do think midday naps are actually quite important and quite productive if they're done right. But what I'm talking about is the avoidance. What are you avoiding? And get curious and give yourself that space to write it down and just ask yourself, why am I doing this activity? When I get on solitaire, there are some times that I'm like, okay, I just need to turn my mind off for a moment so I can get things. And then, but after 20 minutes, let's face it, like it's just a numbing out. You can go and you can focus on something else that's easier, that you're good at, that helps you, the mindless activity. But when it crosses over, when you calm your mind and now it just becomes, you're just scrolling for hours or playing solitaire or eating or whatever, or if you're avoiding what you are wanting to do. And I asked you a question early on, like, are you one twelfth of the way towards your goals for the year? And I had to look at mine that I've set, my intentions that I set, and I and I do have some lofty goals for this year. I have some personally, I have some, you know, with my my family, I have some um, through like nutrition and exercise, I have some, some through my business, I have some in the community. 
um, what I want and how I want to show up in the community. So I have these lofty goals and I'm like, okay, Tammy, let's get real at the end of the month. You said you want a planning day, a review, a review day for the month, as well as a planning day for the next month. And I looked at it and I was like, wow, I did a lot of numbing out. I procrastinated still. I am not one twelfth closer in many of these areas. And it's why. And on the, the what I is I wanted to stay safe. My brain went on overload because some of the things that I want to do are not things I've ever done before. And they put me in a vulnerable state that and and make me, yeah, be a little more vulnerable. I mean, then I than I am used to, than I really want to be. But remember, remember, your brain treats emotional threats and physical threats the same way. That vulnerability, that let's face it, I'm not going to die by being vulnerable. I'm not going to die by letting you guys know a little more about me and my journey and why I'm on this journey, why I I'm compelled to do this work because I want to help you stop procrastinating and numbing out. And I know you have a calling on your life that is greater than you. I, I know that feeling and I know that I can help with that. That is the area that God has placed on my heart and telling like, teach them, show that it's, it's okay. You don't have to procrastinate and numb out. So what's the first step is recognizing it. First step in everything, recognize what's going on and then ask yourself why. Why don't you feel worthy of what you need to do? And so ask yourself that and then break it down to a, into a five minute task. What is one thing you can do in five to 10 minutes that gets you closer to what you want? For me, it was when I, when there's something that God places on my heart, I need to write it down. And then when it's time to do, to do a podcast or go live or do a post, I have to pick something from that list and just do it. God's already placed it on my heart. I will figure it out as I go. But the fact that it's already written down, that takes the pressure off. And I've already thought it through, you know, like you following me. If you find yourself numbing out, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, like whatever, TikTok, if you find yourself going through reels and TikToks for hours and hours, and you're not actually getting what you want done, but ask yourself why, what are you getting from it? Well, it's funny. It makes you feel good. It has, you know, it's, you see other people's other things, other people are doing. then I want you to take just a couple of minutes and ask yourself who you are. Why did God create you? Why did he put that on your heart to do? Now, it could be cleaning out the, the fridge that you're procrastinating. And let's face it, because no one wants to really clean out the fridge, but we all love to have it done. So break it down. Okay, you know what? Today, I am just going to clear out the, I'm just going to clear out the first shelf or just clear, give yourself 30 minutes and do it. Action is what's going to start changing the, the foundations that those, those habits action is what's going to help you just do it. Get curious on why you don't recognize you're not going to die by doing it and then do it. And when you start doing that like it's that the we bought a zoo that 20 seconds of courage just to do it and you're right like why do I need courage to clean out my refrigerator you need courage to tell yourself that you're that you can do it that you're worthy of it that you are capable and that remind yourself what it's going to be like when it's done so recognize why you're procrastinating and what you're doing by to numb out. The more curious you are, the more you're familiar and you recognize these, 
already you're going to start to see why they're lies and how to switch that around into action. And that's what I have for you today. And I'm getting ready, we're getting ready to have another downpour. So um, and with that, I'm going to close. I have a group forming. I just finished a, a group where it's Discover You. It is 16 weeks. It's easy, step by step. You get to discover your your fears. You get to discover why you're not doing what you're doing and actually have the steps to change those to combat per procrastination and numbing out. It's starting in February. I'm limiting the, uh, the amount of people who get to join. The only way to join is by talking to me, whether it's DM and just send me and say, hey, group or discover you or whatever, and I will reach out to you. Or even better, if you want to talk and just calling me, it does not mean that I'm going to force you. I'm not going to sell it to you, but I'm going to invite you to see if you are not where you want to be and you have something on your heart that you want to change. You have what's inside of you to do that, but if you could do it on your own, it would have been done already. That is one of the hard truths that my coaches have shared with me. And one of the things that I've talked in the groups, the, the group that we are just, there, we're wrapping up and many of them are going to face too, because accountability and having someone walk you through the steps and, and the encouragement that you get by doing it together is so powerful. So get on the phone with me, 20 minutes and let's talk. And even if you decide that it's not for you yet, I guarantee that 20 minutes, you'll be able to see what's going on and why the procrastinating and procrastination and numbing out is stopping you. When I can show you what is possible or actually show you the thoughts that you're having, that's when the light bulbs go on. And that's when you see the hope and the opportunity in your story that you are enough you are worthy of a beautiful life that you get you get the privilege to discover who you are then you get to see okay how god made you and then you get to see how to use it you get to see your strengths instead of focusing on your weaknesses you get to highlight your strengths you get to create a life that you're excited about and then you get to use that to tap into the true calling and purpose that god's placed on your life and how amazing would that be? How amazing would that be? Well, get on my calendar, TammyMarieCoaching.com. There's a, there's a link there. Get on my calendar, 20 minutes, let's talk. With that, choose joy until joy chooses you. Bye for now.